Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. Today, we're going to talk about Spider Man. Good news. The mayor finally cracked the whip oh, on Stable International. That was a no huge more locking up jump, New Yorkers but without due process of law. We're going to talk about Sony. It was a PR disaster. I mean, not Sony, but, but once YouTube. We got a clean win. They're starting well, to be like Sony. Not quite. YouTube takes away your brain and Which means something like PewDiePie versus T Series no probably won't well, happen. I think it freaked me out more if nobody was going for me. Let him come. So if you I'll know, if you try to go watch your sub count, you can't do that. You can't watch your sub count grow number by number. It's all abbreviated, so as you grow, it would just pop up. Like, let's say you get a million more, you get a million, you have a million subscribers, and you get a hundred thousand more subs. Then, once you hit a hundred thousand subs, then it will change to one million. Well, on YouTube, it would show it's 1.1 million. That's how they're doing it. And then 1.2 million, 1.3 million, it won't go by number. So, there will be no more. 1,500,000, 1, 1,000,000, 1, 000, you know, like, it won't actually show accurate counts because YouTube is trying to get rid of the sub count controversies, like, showing when people lose subs and when people gain subs and, I don't know, it just kind of sucks because it kind of takes away the authenticity of viewership and subscribership. If you think about it, like, someone like me making YouTube videos all the time and growing, what's going to happen, like, if I can't really accurately know what my sub count is, how am I supposed to know if people like what I'm putting out? And the other thing is this, what if I don't, like, let's say it makes me more, I know this sounds crazy, but what if it makes me more legitimized when I don't need to be more legitimized? Now I'm about to get into what that means. What if people just All assume units, because I have a big number by my channel that, the you know, oh, I should be watched over a smaller channel? Because a smaller channel that has an abbreviated account, they look, they look bad. You know, they don't look good. And then if you can't see their growth, think about it like this. Someone like me who's already got 38 cases. Oh, yeah. More likely to maybe watch because they're gonna gradually see me grow because I'm already growing, right? I'm mean, consistent, I'm growing, and people, I guess, like me as well. When you think about that for a second, that's a that's a little bit scary. It's kind of scary. When you think about it, like how are people? Okay. So I don't know. I don't think this was the right move by YouTube because it's gonna make it even harder to break that barrier, to grow as a content creator, show your legitimacy, or some of you are going to get really fake legitimacy, whatever it is, I don't like to change. Some people don't agree with me, some people may agree with me, but I think this is ultimately the dumbest decision YouTube has ever made as a platform. Why would you take away counts, subcounts? What, what were you thinking, YouTube? Like, what if I want to have a party because I'm about to hit 100k subs and you can't actually see it happening? You just see it go from 99,000 to 100,000. But you can no longer see that extra thousand I get being actually done in real time. And people say, oh, you can do real time counts in, uh, you can see your real-time counts in YouTube dashboard. First off, YouTube Studios fucking sub counts are inaccurate. They're just so, so inaccurate, okay? Trust me. Now, not only that they're inaccurate, but they're not as... They're just... You can't turn on the live sub count and watch it. You can't do that. It's not happening. Okay, so why would it, like, YouTube, come on, you're taking away the fun of what made your platform so unique, you're seriously going to take that away? You're shooting yourselves in the foot. Now, if they give us a live sub counters in our uh, studio data, 
Well, we can still record it. Fine. But you guys just taking away from the public altogether. It's, it's just a bad move. I don't see it being a smart move at all. I see it being the dumbest move you guys could make. Anyways, guys, uh, tell me your opinions on this. Do you think YouTube should have taken away actual accounts and added abbreviated accounts? Do you think they should keep the abbreviated accounts but keep live subscriber accounts for websites like Social Blade and TubeBuddy? Um, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace.